ready. Let me let let <laughs> let me explain something to y'all, okay? Let me explain something to y'all. My brain is not operating at a hundred percent at this moment. This I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the constant headaches I've been give I've been doing since I've been on insulin. I don't know I don't know what it is, but my brain is just not working properly. So I've been sitting here this whole time thinking I have 11 episodes left. I'm going to show you guys the reason why I thought I had 11 episodes left because I counted them. Right? I'm going to show you guys why. I'm going to show you how stupid I am right now. Right? So we started episode 65, right? So I'm counting all of these. I was like, oh, I got 11 episodes left, but there's 74 episodes in the episode. But I'm calculating it the wrong way. So I'm counting from 65 right here, right? And I'm like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 6. That's 11. But this is episode 52. <laughs> this whole time I thought, oh, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two episodes. Then I'm going to do three and then another three and then another three. That's how I had it mapped out in my head. But that's how things go sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So I actually did have only 10 episodes to do, but I was counting these. I was like, oh, I got 11 left. Okay. But this is actually episode 52 from way back. So. What we're going to do is what welcome you back again for another monster reaction. We're here once again. Get into the nitty gritty. We got five episodes to go, 70 through 74. And man, oh man, oh man. Some things were really revealed in the last um, three episodes um, that I watched. A lot, a lot went on. You know what I'm saying? And... As I said before, I'm saying this again so you don't go in the comment section and correct me about it. I really did think that um, that Johan, at the end of episode 67, I thought it was Bonaparte's son that he went to meet with at the end there and killed him. I thought it was, if it wasn't him, so now I'm thinking, if it wasn't him, who was that guy? I don't remember ever seeing him in a series before that, at least not to my memory. He might have popped up. Who knows? I can't remember every little detail of this series because because um, they never gave us any context towards it. They never even give us a flashback or anything like that to let us know who this is. Was this a new person that was just on screen or who he was meeting, Johan was meeting with? I don't remember ever seeing this guy. So it's just kind of confusing you know, because I thought it was Bonaparte's son because of the way I they were setting up the episode before. And was like, oh, you know, Nina was saying that I told Johan about Bonaparte's son being alive. So I thought it was him because it's been a while since we've seen him. You know what I'm saying? And then he popped up and I was like, oh, it wasn't him. Totally looked different. Like, it kind of looked similar. But in my head, that's how I saw it. So I do apologize to you guys for that. That was... <laughs> you know, a blunder on my part. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for continuing to support the series. You already know we're just jumping in, trying to get to the end of Monster today during this session, watching these last 10 episodes. Um, so we're going to be doing three in this part again, and then I'll do the final two by themselves. Depending on how things go is how I'm going to format them and to put them out, but we'll see. Um, so it's two, three, three, two. That's the format that I'm doing for these two ep for for these last ten episodes. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, so um, I might put them out. I might put them out um, two times a day or just once a day. We'll see how things go and we get through it. So I can go and finish up some other series and then we can completely start over with a completely new roster of shows on the channel. Um, once I catch up with everything. So, um, yes. So let's jump in. Let's go watch some more Monster Man. Let's go. Oh, my 
いはカイちゃんに捨てられたんだよアルチュウの親父と一緒にゴミみたいに捨てられたんだ<笑>二度とそのゴミ置き場から出てくんじゃねえぞ<笑><笑>ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。出てってくれないかな飲みたいんだったら付け返してからにしてくれ金ならほらよ今日の分くらいはガキ働かせた金で飲ませるような酒はうちにはないんでねなんだ出てってくれスパンイズアバッキョウジーナコンラードさんの件かヒルマン夫人の犬だってもしかしてあいつに銃をぶっ放すだけやなんてない<笑>そりゃそうだただの臆病なアルチューだもんなよー He actually walked away? まったく捜索ったっておいメルケル俺たちももう切り上げようぜおいメルケルファンリーファンダムコンラッド発見した見つけたぞメルケルメルメルケルこちらラルファー応答願います誰か誰か答えてくれあもねえフヨハンダスドゥンです預かららせてもらうよ。Wonder if he has something to do with everything that's going on. Or this is just happening, you know what I mean? I think you can tell us a d o c u m e n t can I? So, yes, Tada, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Going back, <laughs> they're already dead. What? Did they die or did, did he kill them? Ochisite, what is that? Ochisite, the Jew Hanaste. You go, boy, the night. Boko got thunder. Quit up, Boko, it's a miracle. Boko. Bib, Kimiva. <笑>大丈夫だ落ち着けもう大丈夫だ怖くない落ち着いて思い出すんだ誰にもらったんだいこの銃し
かりしろその足でよくここまでたどり着いたなラファーしょ,しょに電話を電話はつながらない銃を奪われたこの町の人間にか知らない見たことないよそ者だとにかく応急手当てをあんた方の仲間か何の話だね何人の仲間がこの町に入り込んだ一体何が言いたいんだね銃は相当な数ばらまいたようだがねこんな子にまで銃を渡しているくらいですからねビーム銃ってお前まさかお前はゴミなんかじゃないあんな連中相手にするなお前が生まれてきたのには意味があるあなたはそう言ってその子を力づけてきたそうですねその子は銃を撃っちゃいない弾は全部残っているビムはあなたの教えを守り通しましたよ偉かったなビム<笑>もういいいいんだビム Sad criminals are the worst, bro. I'm going to go to the city. 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 I'm going to go to 何彼は私たちの死んだ孫そっくりだったんだ彼彼は私たちのことをよく知っていた彼はまるで本当の孫のように彼って誰だあなた方は死んだ孫に手紙を書いていたその彼に情報を送っていたわけか彼って誰だ目的は私なんだろうその彼の目的は。Is he friends? その通りです。ポッペさん。いや。いやボナパルタ。ドイツ南部を中心に降り続いている集中豪雨は、バイエルン側などに大きな被害をもたらしています。<笑>ねえタバコ吸いすぎだよいいのよお酒やめたんだからタバコもやめればいいのにティーターあんたさっきから何書いてんのトウ似てる誰に天馬だよ天馬それ今度警察に提出するわあいつら肝心のところで信じてないだから言ってやるのよ私が言ってるのはこの男ですこの男が一人で怪物退治に出かけてます<笑>天馬帰ってくるよねでは各地の被害状況をお伝えしますエルガー川の氾濫により数箇所で通行止め鉄道は上下線とも苦痛になっていますブラー I think everybody is fried <笑> I thought <笑> no, I thought that dude was In the wheelchair, was right. I was like, Who is Franz, bro? I was like, 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 I was ヨハンが今しようとしていることをこう表現したね完全な自殺だと罪のない人がたくさん死ぬことになるとルーエンハイム南ドイツにこの名の田舎町がある天馬はここに向かった可能性がある行かなくちゃそこへ行かせてくださいあなたは最初
ある男の妄想の中の登場人物に過ぎなかったそうまるであなたの絵本の中に出てくる登場人物のようなね私は長年客観的データを積み重ねて捜査を行ってきただが今回全くデータを無視してその男の妄想のままに旅をした遊び半分に糸を手繰り寄せていくうちにチェコで赤いバラの屋敷に何度も足を運ぶ青年に出会ったあなたの息子さんだ彼に宛てた自筆の絵はがき本名クラウス・ポッペカーペイの最後この風景にたどり着き実際にあなたを目の前にしてもまだ妙な気分でしたよ絵本の中の登場人物が抜け出してきたようなねだがこれが現実だ私が調査したチェコからの亡命圧っ業者のリストの中に確かにクラウス・ポッペの名前があったベルリンの壁崩壊直後にあなたはこの地に逃げてきた何から逃げようとした私のような人間からかもあなたの構想をもとに東ドイツに創設された511キンダーハイム私はあそこで作り上げられた私たちのような人間から逃げようとしたのかも私にはわかる彼はヨハンと呼ばれる青年が何をしようとしているのかそして今それが現実にこの町で起きているまた従前このホテルに来る間もたくさん人が死んでたこの町どうかしちゃったんだよねえ早く出してよ It's the hitman It's the hitman たくもあんた何やってんのよ外出たり入ったりそのたびにシャワー浴びて町中火薬と血の匂いで気持ち悪いんだよ。It's Johan's Hitman! I remember his name. <laughs> oh, that's right. ての記憶さ君をこの場所に行かせるには条件があるドクター・ギーレンが同行することそして君に銃を持たせるわけにはいかない銃はいりません出かける支度をしますそれとさっき言ったことすぐに行動に移してくださいディーターとエヴァそしてライヒワイン先生シューバルト氏にカールとロッテヨハンを知る人は全員姿を隠すことヨハンは全ての記憶を消そうとしていますさあディーターに気づかれないようにディーターとの記憶ダイヒワイン先生との記憶ロッテやカールとの記憶ポルトナーフサイトの記憶天馬との記憶私には忘れたくない記憶があるどんなに消し去りたい記憶があってもヨハンはヨハンの記憶は消しちゃいけない警官か銃を抜き取られている<笑>そこを動くな People are just dropping, bro.
奔走した男たちが入ってきたいつの間にか町の人間も銃を持ち撃ち合い行かなくちゃ助けを呼びに子供たちだけでも助けちゃ It's, it's the same thing! It's the same thing that happened at Kinderheim, dude. All the people just went mad and started killing each other. あなたは自分の推理に間違いがあったことを認めるんですねいや私の中では彼はまだ重要参考人だヨハンは私にとっては架空の人間でしかない架空の人間この嗅覚中に私を取り込みしたのはこの言葉だ実在する人物が架空の人間になるにはどうしたらいいのか答えは簡単だその人間を知る者その人間の過去を知る者全てを消し去ること最終的にはボナパルタさんあな
とは言っても銃はこれ一丁か外にこの二人が申し訳ない私が宝くじなんか当てたばっかりに<笑> Yeah you thought so コンラートの死体を見つけたのをもっと早く知らせていれば町中こんなにおかしくなる前にあんた方が買い揃えたのかま,まだ一発も撃っちゃいない本当だよこれとこれ貸してくれ君はこのホテルを守れあなたは一般市民も銃を持ってますよ私は刑事だその辺の区別はつくああそうだグリマーさん一仕事を終えたらビールをおごらせてくれええぜひうまいビール今だ走れ生き延びるんだ Crazy, bro. You going out? Going out like a boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. This is crazy because. I don't know. Let, let, let's keep going. I don't even know who Bonaparte is. Not even like this whole time. I thought he was the one that was like handing out guns and stuff. I was like, what's going on? But then it's not him. You know? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I gotta talk about this while while the while the intro is playing. I talk about this because Bonaparte Bonaparte is the one behind the entire Kinderheim operation, right? He's the reason why you know Johan is the way he is, why Grimmer is the way he is, having that monster inside of him, Magnificent Steiner, right? And why Nina is the way she is. Nina was never at Kinderheim, but Nina has been traumatized by what this dude did in the past. You know what I'm saying? Being what happened in the in, in the in the Red Rose Mansion, and just me just sitting down and watching this like back to back to back like this now. You know what I'm saying? Really brings a lot of the things that's been going on before into perspective because it's like you're wondering johan is johan in the town right now or is he so is he not there yet you know what i'm saying and he just set things in motion just to get to these guys it's it i i don't even know did they create these guys to do these things you know what i'm saying like it, it kind of feels that way like that's what they were trying to accomplish you know what i'm saying like it kind of feels that way like what were they trying to accomplish with these kids at kinderheim creating monsters you know what i mean 
子供はあらかた脱出できたと思うんだがあなたも早く行って町の中心部をまだ見回ってないんだあとは私に任せてあなたはみんなの誘導をわ分かった一つだけ聞きたいんですがボナパルタいやクラウス・ポッペという人物を知りませんかポッペああホテルフェアステックのオーナーだよWith the fish islands. <laughs> Try to kill Johan or Roberto. There was more to the story. I think Lungi is going to get killed. See both hands, nigga. Come on. 
Let me see both hands. <laughs> Yo. That one hand not going to work. Let me see both hands. Okay, you want to stay out here and die? ここ that's a tough pill to swallow right there. It's crazy, bro. やつらの狙いって本当に俺ら夫婦が当てた宝くじじゃないんだな。ええ。ええ。全くこの数日間生きたここじがしなかった。実際どうかしてた。あんな大金のおかげでこの俺が十何兆も買い揃えたりしてよ
これ以上そんなことを言うならここに縛りつけるここにいるんだ私が何とかするグリマーさん言ったろいざとなったら無敵の超人シュタイナーが現れるって昔実験でそういう症例を見たことがある過度の怒りや悲しみ強烈なストレスを与えることで子供に別の人格が現れたその子供たちは異様な暴力性を持ちそのほとんどが自殺したよくその年齢まで見ろ私は丸腰だちょっとでいい話を聞いてくれ何のためにこんなことをしている誰に命令されたお前たちが旧東側の人間だか元秘密警察だかお前たちが何者かなんてどうでもいい私だってどこの何者でもないんだ聞いてるか自分の耳で聞いてくれ誰の命令でもなく自分の心で自分が何をやってるのか自分の心で考えるんだできるよなできる何やってんの怖かったよ一人でここまで来ちゃったよかったあんたがいてくれてえ I saw that coming bro でテレビにかじりついて見ていた最終回を見た記憶がない<笑>さあ行こうかいや,やだいやだいやだ,やだ<笑>あの不要な主人公の青年は自分が怒りに駆られて超人シュタイナーに変身していたことに気づいたのだろうかあの青年は幸せになったのだろうか<笑>あの青年は<笑>あの青年は幸せに。もう少しだもう少しで歩けば森を抜け出せるルーエルハイムの町の人たちですね<笑>あんた方は町で何か起きているんですね武器を持った連中が町に入り込んできて町中殺し合いになったまさかあんた方も落ち着いて私たちは味方だ東洋人は髪の長い日本人を見かけませんでしたかあんた方、彼の知り合いか知ってるんですねああこの子たちを逃がそうと必死になってくれて今も残って町の人間を助けようと別れ際ホテルフェアステップに向かうとあっニーナ林道を抜けたところに私の車が止めてある怪我人や病人をその車で運んでくれそして一刻も早く警察に連絡をああんた方町へ行くつもりかいやめといた方がいい殺されるぞ天馬はあの東洋人は私の友人なんだ彼を救うんだ早く警察に連絡をホテルフェアステック
この下の階で一人、ここで一人、合計四人仕留めた。ジョージン・シュタイナーが現れたんですね。いや、彼は出てこなかった。俺が勝手に、俺自身が怒りに駆られてやっただけだ。とにかくその傷は。そうだ。忘れないうちに。手紙だルンケ警部から扱った赤いバラの屋敷で見つけたらしい彼を助けてやってくれ一人でホテルベルクバッハに向かったその前にあなたを俺はいいしばらく休ませてくれ紹介するよ彼がフランツ・ボナパルタだグリマーさん<笑>大丈夫だよビム<笑>ああダメだなこの辺りは晴れたらいいところだあドクター・テンマはい晴れたらこのビムも連れてピクニックしような<笑>うまいワインとうまいチーズも持ってなあわお自分が知るから悲しいんじゃない<笑>自分の子供が死んだのが今悲しい人間は感情をなくすことはできない感情はどこかわからないところに迷い込んでいたんだまるで俺宛てに出した手紙が何十年も経ってから届いたみたいどの悲しいかこれが幸せか<笑>超人シュタイナーの最終回きっと彼は人間に。Crying. Yo, that's this is just brilliant storytelling, man. Because I'm saying it's just brilliant storytelling, you know, Grimmer finally experiencing his emotions. Again, you know, what I'm saying right before he dies, you know, what I'm saying, like, as much as I expect certain things in this series, that's just not one of the things that was high on my list. Um, to where the story was going to go because I didn't, I really never expected to see Grimmer again, to be honest. So, um, for them to bring him back. And for us to not only see him go, not we didn't see him go all out, but to find the guy that did this to them. Because I didn't know that Franz was the one that was responsible for, Kin for Kinderheim. You know what I'm saying? 
he's being been 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 mentioned in the story you know what i mean but to find out and he he, he seems kind of, you know what i'm saying he seems remorseful yeah i'm saying but i don't want to see you cry ain't nobody feeling sorry for you and your tears you should have never done that to kids for that matter you know what i'm saying should have never it, it should have never been a thing experimenting on children to to figure to figure out the program you know what i'm saying because even you know what i'm saying even general wolf right that was a part of kinderheim too you know what i'm saying all these guys are they're, they're trash everybody that was in charge or knew about this program they were all trash you know what i'm saying they were all trash experimenting on kids bro like Come on, man. Not that any kind of experiment on human without your consent is okay, because it's never okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it just it just takes it to another level when you treat when you're treating kids like they're lab rats, man. It's like, you know what I mean? I can understand for for research purposes if the if if the kid and not even parents that you know what I'm saying that volunteers their kids as test subjects they're not okay in my book either you know what i'm saying the kid gotta be um okay with it i understand sometimes you know what i'm saying you wanna if you have the money you want to go off the books to save your kid if they have like some sort of chronic dis chronic or even detrimental disease or you know fatal disease and they have some program out there that you've heard of that not that's not approved by you know what i'm saying that's not a, not approved you know what i'm saying um for you know some experiment thing and you know they there's plenty of them out there trust me in other countries you know what i'm saying and you i don't think you should i don't think you should because you don't know you don't know the minute they start experimenting on your kid it could kill them it could kill them you don't know you know what I'm saying? Um, Cause a lot of people can tell you, "Oh, we can do this and we can do that." You know, it's it's like cancer. There's no cure for it. They can only you can you you can go into remission and you know you could say you beat cancer because at one point I thought, you know, what I'm saying they could, you know, you couldn't come back from cancer, but there's still cancer cells that are still there it's never completely gone like cancer is never completely gone you know what i'm saying it can even though it being in remission does not mean that you've beaten cancer doesn't mean that it's go away the cancer is still there it's just not fatal anymore and it could become fatal again in the future so it, it, it's kind of like when you need situations and and somebody out there saying oh they got the miracle for you and you will spend a whole bunch of money if you have it to go do this you know what i'm saying so it's never okay i'm never going to be okay with that them experimenting on kids you know what i'm saying um if it was me i wouldn't i wouldn't care I don't think I would care to, if the world knew the through. I would throw him to the dogs. I'm not even going to lie because he's the reason why Johan is the way he is. He's the reason why Johan is the way he is. You get what I'm saying? From leave, from escaping from Kinderheim, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then again, then again, question. Did Kinderheim, did, did, is has Johan always been this way? Because if I'm remembering correctly, let me correct myself. If I'm if I'm remembering correctly, didn't it um didn't Kinderheim happen after all of all Kinderheim happened? If I'm remembering correctly, I might be remembering this wrong, but I think Kinderheim happened after the situation, after the Red Rose and all that stuff, right? If I'm not mistaken, maybe I just have the you know the timeline mixed up but um because i remember them saying in in some of the early episodes when we just started getting into kinderheim and finding out about it that he that they they said that it's like he was already like that like they didn't create johan the, the monster it's like he was created before 
you get what I'm saying? Like he was already that dude, you know what I'm saying? The way he is now. So did Kinderheim actually is responsible for him? I think what happened is that the situation that happened with hit with 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 um with their mom, I think that set the precedence because that's where everything kind of started where France was already experimenting through that time. Maybe Kinderheim was just, he was, um, he was older and he was like, oh, I could probably duplicate this. And Johan was there. You get, I don't know. Theories, 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 theories. That's all I got. Anyways, let's get to the next episode. All right. Three more to go. Let's get it. Come on, Lungi. You know, if, if somebody was was actually in the shower, you don't think they would look out the shower? Damn. He could have totally killed him just now. you that I had a feeling that Lungi was going to die, bruh. Just, it just didn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? So, in, in, in no uncertain terms of what's going on right now, as I said, I still got kind of some of the signals still a little confusing. You know what I'm saying? These last um, three episodes that I'm going to watch, hopefully some, some more things are made clear um you know pretty much you know what i'm saying pretty much all of the characters that we've been following so far they're all victims of this entire operation that happened long ago right you know what i'm saying like it it, it was a big Experiment. It was just one big experiment that created Johan that caused the tr traumatic experiences that Nina had. Then they, uh, then it, it's just a trail coming down the line. Tenma gets caught up in it. Grimmer, you know what I'm saying, is from Kinderheim. Um, you know, and then this dude, Bonaparte, whatever his name is, or Klaus Pop, whatever his name is. You know what I'm saying? As just everything. You know what I mean? It's crazy. あ、なんてことだ。いい人だったのに。俺たちのために命がけて戦ってくれたんだ。グリマーさん。ドクターテンマ、どこへ行こうしてる場合じゃない。ルンゲ警部のところへ行くんだね。私も行くよ。銃は持ってる。手紙。ルンゲ警部がクリマーさんに預けたこの手紙。赤い
ルンゲ警部が見つけたものだそうです君のことをずっと見ていた君のすべてを食い尽くすために見ていただが逆に君のすべてが私を侵食した崩れかかった私が君にはどのように見えただろうか崩れかかった私に君が与えてくれたもの君は美しい宝石を残してくれたあの永遠の命のような双子一番罪なことは人の名前を奪い去ること。Yeah, c a u s e he's the, he the dude. 君に名前を返そう。君の名はアンナ。今はただ悲しい。悲しい。悲しい。悲しい。悲しい。あなたが書いたものですね私は双子の母親に恋をした一瞬にして考え方が変わったそれで彼女のことを双子のことを実験のことを知っている全ての人間を殺したああそれだけだ So that's why he killed them people in the Red Rose Mansion. Yeah, he did ha he had another gun. Oh, let's go, Lunge. Kotay, oh my one, Nari Munda. Some kids are hot to give a chime shown in her. Taskarita got to a cotay. Yohan, what do you need? Nazi so much to Yohan Nishtak. ヨハンとお前はどういう関係だ落ちぶれたもんだね、ルンゲ警部。連邦捜査局切っても、敏腕捜査官が、こんな田舎町でたった一人、警察署も持たずに観光旅行。要員議員のスキャンダルを深追いしすぎて、仕事を干されて、天魔を追い回すことだけが生きがいになった。その通りだよく調べたな奥さん他の男と暮らしているよ幸せそうにねあんたの孫もその男がおじいちゃんだとは思ってる片言をしゃべれるようになってその男のことをおじいちゃんおじいちゃんって黙れ会いたいよね黙れ孫は可愛く成長しているたまり会いたいよねたまり落ちぶれたもんだな<笑>昔のルンゲ系はこんなもんじゃなかった<笑>
った一つの記憶をこの人本当の名前はわからないんだって自分の名前がうん施設にいたんだってでも言ってた他のことはみんな忘れてるのに友達の名前が思い出したんだって自分の名前を忘れたのに友達の名前は覚えてるのかうんその子は絵を描くのが好きで虫が好きででも虫を殺すのは嫌いだから虫かごから逃がしてやるんだってその子の名前は確かアドルフ・ラインハルト週に一度支給されるココアが大好きだったんだってヨハが俺に近づき一杯のカップを差し出した思い出したんだ週に一度の施設での楽しみヨーは温かいココアが大好きだったんだ雨がすべてを何もかもきれいに流してくれればいいのに恐怖も憎悪も悲しみもだが実際は全くその逆だったすべてがより一層大きく膨れ上がったあの日もこんな雨だったいや So Roberto is really Adolf Grimmer's friend from Kinderheim. Like, Anatom, Bomisha, eh, Cheko Slovakia, Anokota Chio, Stil. 合わせてください。一目だけでも。寝顔だけでも。So he went to see the Liebert's, like. あのように惨劇が起きた少女一名生存確認男女二名は絶命男の子は重体ですが脈拍がありフランクは血圧七十二の五十、脈拍百三十七。銃弾は前頭部からだ殺して私には一体何が起きたのかわからなかったいや分かっていたのに全て分かっていたのに逃げ出したのだ私は何もかも考えるのをやめ逃げ出した絵を描いてみたんだ理想の双子の絵愛に包まれたあの子たちだが何枚描いてみてもそんなものは描けなかった私には分かっていたからだそんなものはないということは<笑>ルンゲ警部のいるホテルベルクバッハはこの先ですねああ行きましょう気をつけてどこから狙っているか私は私は怪物を作ってしまったんだよ。私はその怪物をよみがえらせてしまった。死ねないだろう右手は握力がないんだよミュンヘンの図書館でドクター天馬に撃たれてね
あそこで彼を殺すくらいたやすかったでも殺しちゃいけないんだドクター天馬は残る人間なんだよ彼は最後に残って一りぼっちになる一人で寂しく死んでいく名前もなくねこれがヨハンの計算だドクター天馬はヨハンの見た風景を見ることを許された俺もその風景を見たい俺は見たいルンゲ警部あんたは見ないあんたは死ぬこれもヨハンの計算だヨハンはここにはいないなぜわかるどこかからこの様子を見てるアリの行列を見るように As true is same thing he what happened at Kinderheim ここ調べよう天馬はここに向かったんだから誰か誰かいないか二回見てみる Why none of the adults have a gun? その絵の女の子にそっくりだたくさんの絵同じ顔の男の子と双子の絵だよどこで見たのその絵どこで見たのみ南の高台の吸血鬼の家That's where Johan is, it seems. Now you're worried about your son? I could put in people out of their misery. Oh, so Johan is not at the vampire's mansion. But he was there. Dore mo kimi tachi kyodai o kakou to shite mikan se ni owa te iru. Dono e mo yasashiku hoho en deru yo ni mieru ga. この絵を描いたのがフランツ・ボナパルタこの絵を見てヨハンは何をリただいま帰りただいま帰りただいま帰りただいま帰りニナ怖いものを見たとってもとっても怖いものたくさんの人が死んでいったの赤
貝原の屋敷みんなお酒を飲んだのそしたらそしたらみんな苦しんで折り重なるように私の目の前で泣くのなんで泣いてるの泣かないで泣かないで泣かないで泣かないで泣かないで泣かないで泣かないミナ彼は泣いてたミナこの部屋でついさっきまでこの部屋で一人であの時みたいに泣いてたあの雨の夜私が打たなければ私が許してあげていればこんなことは続かなかったこんなに大勢の人が死ぬことはなかった Make sense what she just said. 遅すぎるかもしれないけど Maybe if she had comforted him and said, It's okay, he probably wouldn't have continued to do. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like an empowering situation when, yeah, you know I'm saying he wanted to die at that point because, you know, he wanted, he didn't want to exist anymore. And then he gets saved by Tenma. It's like, you know. Alright, three more episodes down, two more to go. Let's get it. Um, so there's a lot, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back and probably I'm gonna try to you know browse I can't even do that. I'm probably gonna have to watch pretty much the entire series again before I do an in-depth um evaluation of this series because um i know that there's part there's parts that i'm not like remembering correctly and stuff like there's a lot of information that from the earlier episodes that's probably you know during this entire time that kind of indicated certain things happening later um and i completely missed it i mean watching it a second time um over i know you guys are watching this series and you're like look at this idiot he don't even know what's going on um but i totally see um like the, the the story is just written in such a brilliant way and it tackles so many different subjects you know what i'm saying um as i said man no love for bonaparte i i you know what i'm saying like ex then you're gonna talk about oh i fell in love with moms this is like dude get out of here with that you know what i'm saying you know um experiment and it's and it just it's just a repetitive cycle of 
you know, people being taken advantage of and people, it seems just like everybody's just becoming a victim of circumstances. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like overall, it just kind of feels that way as in people, people are just, uh, um, just a victim of their circumstances. And it's, and it's like, um, this monster that was created, the mom also in, you know, directly or indirectly created this monster too because he's like these my kids are going to avenge me my kids are going to avenge their father my kids you get what i'm saying like you know you can the things that you do and, and you know what i'm saying while your kids are pregnant you can play music around your kids your kids coming out loving that music you know what i'm saying because it's not like you the, the 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 fetus is not alive and well they can hear what's happening they might not be able to comprehend you know or it, there, there's probably studies out there but i know i know for a fact that certain things like if you play music while your kids is in the womb they'll come out loving that music too it's crazy you get what i'm saying um and, and in, 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 in certain things, you know, what I want to say when it comes on to um, this monster series and them naming the series monster, you can tell what the author was going for is like it, 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 in in some ways, there's a monster in all of us. Look at the, the journey that Tenma is on the revenge, not necessarily the revenge, because he's basically you know what I'm saying, Bonaparte, you know what I'm saying, he's kind of, like, very remorseful about the entire situation, you know, he's been trying to correct this mistake, you know what I'm saying, um, I don't necessarily like him, you know what I'm saying, um, and it, it's kind of hard for me to forgive him, even though he's remorseful, you know what I'm saying, but, at the same time, when it comes on to Tenma, it, it, it's like Tenma is looking at himself and is like, I saved this monster. You created him, but I saved them. You know what I'm saying? I saved them. He could have been gone out of this world like he wanted to because he told Nina to shoot him. You know, but I saved him. I kept him in this world. You know what I mean? So... At the same time, the way how I look at it and the way how I see this thing and, and how it's going is that, well, you can't really blame most of this, but you can at the same time, even though you don't want to place blame, you kind of have to in some in some terms because of what we know now versus what we know earlier. You get what I'm saying? Um if, if I was in Tenma's shoes, I would have saved them too. You get what I'm saying? Like, the position that he was in, because he's like, he's looking at it from that perspective that he was called to save somebody else and he didn't go save that person, but he saved this little kid not knowing what he is. You know what I'm saying? And Bonaparte went to go check on the kids. And at first, I th at first, during that scene, I thought he was the one that took out the Liebers, but he's not. So what happened that night is like, we still, there's still some little, some little, little details that I would love for them to fill in and to completely like show us what happened. Because there's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, was Johan the one that took out the Liebers? You know what I'm saying? Because there's also this other piece of the pie that, that that is like why does he wear why is he wearing a wig and look trying to look like his sister you know what i'm saying like there's also that weird part of it that's like i don't know what's going on here <laughs> you know what i mean but in any case guys i'm gonna go do the final two episodes of this series man um it's awesome i'm gonna have a lot to say about the series um but I'm definitely, definitely, that scene, that scene, Lungi versus Roberta, or if you want to call him Adolf. Bruh, that scene was gangster for reals, for reals. That was probably, you know what I'm saying? Like people who 
don't normally show emotion. No Lungi doesn't get emotional about anything. The man is like a, a freaking walking machine. But everybody has triggers. And it's like those things are just highlighted for, you know, for everybody. It's like, yo, you may act this certain way, but there's this in innate monster in all of us this is like you saw that come out of lungi for the first time grimmer r.i.p man definitely one of my favorite characters off the series hands down definitely top i want to say top five character in the series um for me um went out like a g man you know what i'm saying um so definitely definitely man so I'm going to go watch the next, the final two episodes. I don't know what is going to be, what else is going to be revealed to me during those episodes, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, Nina is spiraling. She's remembering conversations. You know, um, I think that scene where she was like, I think that was her mom. She's remembering what her mom used to say. Nina is messed up in the head, man. Like, she is like so traumatized by certain things like she hallucinates a lot too when memories trigger she hallucinates it's like she goes right back to that moment when those memories come back to her um so oh my god i'm gonna watch the episodes i have a lot more to say um in the next vibe all right thank you guys so much for tuning in i'll see you guys next time for some more monster the finale. See you guys over there.